What's up, buddies? Welcome to another episode of The Poor Man Road to Glory. This is the Saturday upload, but the long haul stream recording session where we record from like Sunday, Monday, all the way through till Fut Chat Rewards on Thursday, and then upload the video for you guys on uh, Saturday. It's my favorite, I guess, video to record on my YouTube channel, and definitely the favorite time of week for me in my streams. I gotta say thank you so much for the support on this series. If you guys haven't watched the last few episodes, make sure you do, because within the next minute or two, I'm gonna spoil what happened in the last few episodes. Well, no, but, well, I guess the title of this video has probably spoiled it for you guys as well, in terms of yeah, no. Well, you know what? Screw it. We got Elite again, boys. We are finally an Elite Caliber Fun Champs player again. Last week I was a Gold 2 Caliber Fun Champs player, but this week we're back where we belong as an Elite player, and I'm very, very happy about that. So, on the episode today, I just wanted to show you guys this Bronze Pack, man. Again, people saying that Bronze Packs are a waste of time. This is like 7,000 coins right here. Uh, I'll even toss them up for 6,900 coins. Ha, <laughs> 69... Uh, I'll do that. There we go. So yeah, on the episode today, we got a lot planned. Uh, I've sold off all of the Serie A team. I also bought a couple of players already for this squad builder. Just players I saw cheap on Saturday and Sunday. You, you gotta you gotta make the purchases when you see them cheap. And usually for now, for, right now for me at least, the cheapest players or the, the cheapest prices for current informs and stuff like that are on the Saturday and the Sunday. I also bought someone else today before I even started the stream. Um, I saw them for relatively cheap. Not that they were in packs right now, but I just saw one for cheap, so I thought to pick it up. So yeah, there's there's a new squad builder going on today. We're gonna do a whole bunch of awesome stuff. Hopefully we get SBCs from EA. And then at the very end of it all, of course, we'll be opening our FUT Champions Elite Rewards, which is an inform, a three inform pack. 70,000 coins and then another 100k pack. So let me just get rid of all this crap and let's get right into it. So I think I'll show you guys what we sold all of our players for first and then we'll go into who we purchased because obviously you guys are gonna be like, wait, what? He sold all his players but only has 1.4 mil? Well, there's a reason for that. I, I spent some big money uh, over the weekend on new players and I am for those. Okay, well that dude, I clearly listed him up for too cheap, but anyways. Uh, oh, oh, that guy sold as well. Love that. Oh God, I'm so, I'm so confused. Okay, before I show you guys the prices, what did I, what did I want to say here? Okay, so all I, all that's really left to say is obviously we're, when we do, when we start doing the squad builder and stuff like that, um, it might be a longer squad builder this episode because I don't have the team completed. Again, I only bought a few players that I wanted to test out. But for those of you guys that are tweeting me or in the chat as well asking me, like, am I going to be doing new squads every FUT Champs? Yes. Look at look at how well we did in last weekend's FUT Champs run. Hitting Elite, building a, a team full of players that we've never used before. Of course, I had incredible players. Inform Dybala and Inform Mertens and all that stuff. But with a formation that I've never used before, 4-2-3-1, and just not caring. I'm not worried about what results we get anymore. Not at all. I'm just worried about enjoying streaming FUT Champs and enjoying recording FUT Champs for YouTube and all of that stuff. And it, it just worked out beautifully. And not to mention that, you buy a team and then play with it and a week later, I mean, I lost money on Handanovich like an idiot because I wanted to check his price and then listed him up full price with no uh, with no bid, with no low minimum or whatever. So he ended up going for super cheap on bid. But like Dries Mertens, we didn't lose any money on. His price, you know, we got him for, I can't even remember. You guys are going to have to check past episodes. I can't remember what I bought players for. But I know Dries Mertens, I didn't really lose all that much on. If I have actually may have made five or 10 or 15,000 coins. Gomez, we made like 15,000 coins. I think we bought him for 77,000. And a lot of people think now he's going to be getting a uh, third or fourth inform or something like that. So we did well there. Sandro, we bought for like 180. So after taxes and whatever, we've made maybe 15,000 coins. Really, really happy about that. Bonucci, really, really happy with as well. We made about uh, 20,000 coins. So very, very stoked on that. Uh, Koulibaly, I lost coins on, I think. After tax and stuff like that, we lost coins on him, but who cares? Amazing card. I would highly recommend this card again for any of you guys that are interested. Danny Alves uh, went up a big chunk. We ended up getting him for like 340k, and I think he's even more expensive right now. Perisic, a lot of you guys may be disappointed in me selling one of the best cards I've used. Absolutely stunning. Um, best cam, best striker. He's like the full package, so I'd highly recommend him. No idea what his price is. And then Dybala, I think we lost some money on. But... 
in 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 i guess honor of just enjoying myself i'm fine making a bit of profit on some players and then losing money on other players and stuff like that it, it all works out in the end especially with all the fun champ rewards and all that good stuff you know you know you know i don't have to be too concerned about losing some coins here and there so what i uh, i don't really know what i want to do so do we do the squad builder now or do we do the squad builder in a little bit Mm. yeah why not we'll do we'll, we'll we'll start off the squad builder so we're not going to use four two three one again for this weekend although I, this formation i love now if you're patient and, and you're you know you're, you're good at creating open spaces with dribbling and passes like we did this weekend four two three one is the one for you at some point in time i do want to try this formation and see if it feels any different at all um Okay, so even my Twitch chat wants me to do the squad builder now. Okay, okay, all right. So yeah, I'm not gonna do four two three one though. I was tempted to. I want to use a two striker formation for this next foot champs run. A lot of people are telling me I should test out four four two. I don't think I'm going to honestly. I, I don't think it's really. I don't think it's really a formation I'm that excited to try. You guys saw, I think last episode I showed you that I'm building, I'm slowly but surely on the poor man road to glory building a past and present Leeds United team. So with 442 because the only way to really get them on formation so once that team is complete once the team of the season is out i'm hoping we get some sort of uh i guess by the time you guys are watching this on saturday even though it's a monday for me i still haven't seen the new team of the week yet by the end of this ep by the end of this episode though we may have a, a chris wood that we can um add into that past and present team i'm hoping at some point maybe we get a most consistent team of the season pontus jansen i hope so so that past and present leads team is going to be balling i think so okay so 442 we're not going to use we'll save that for the past and present leads team 442 cdms is basically the same thing i was thinking 352 how about a five at the back how disgusting would that be five of the backs aren't even good you know what I mean? They're, they really aren't even good. But that would be an interesting thing to do. Like, test out a five at the back. With, like, very capable, attacking-minded wingbacks. Like a, a the, my Red Coleman. Or, like, a Team of the Year Marcelo or something like that. Where your wingbacks literally are your end up being your wingers. And you tell them to push up the field and stuff like that. Like, that could be pretty pretty interesting. I don't think I'm ready to, to roll with five at the back yet. But 5-2-1-2 looks like it could be a fun formation. This one's a little bit more spread out. Five, three, two, one could be decent too. But I'd like a cam as well. I'd like a cam as well. I won't be using this formation. I won't be using this formation. Uh, these formations I use when I need goals. Uh, so at the end of a game, if I'm losing one nothing, I go like ultra attacking with three, four, two, one, and it seems to get me uh, late goals. Three, five, two is another formation. Actually, three, five, two almost feels like the perfect formation to to test out. We used it against a top 100 player when I was holding on to a lead after he was up one nothing and just started passing around the back like a dickhead. I tied it up and then went 2-1 up and then switched to 3-5-2 and I managed to hold on to the win. Very, very satisfying win that was. So got a little spot, soft spot for 3-5-2. Um, 4 one 2 one 2 I know a lot of people will just say, well, why not use this? I, I mean, I'd love to test out this formation again, maybe with my new mentality of not caring, but I want to, I want to do different stuff. Now what because of saying that i guess this is a formation that could be super interesting to use what about four triple two i was thinking of going with this formation four three one two it's a formation that atani rant and raves about you know gets them into like gold three every week with all his legends and stuff like that so um clearly it does good for for him you know gold three for atani is really really good he's awful at fifa so uh I hope he sees this. Anyways, so 4 3 one, two, uh, I think would be decent to try. But why don't we see what 4 triple 2 looks like? And we can test it out this week. I think my only issue with 4 triple 2 is going to be that there's going to be like a huge gap between your CDMs and strikers, right? 4 triple 2 is awful? Really? So tons of people think 4 triple... Tons of you guys think 4 triple 2 is terrible. Okay. Okay. Um... Four triple two is awful. All right. Well, uh, there you go. Then YouTube, 
you guys uh, can see that I'm getting influenced by my Twitch chat. All right, well, let's. why don't we test out 4312 then? Let's see if we can do better than Itani. So I'm excited. I'm excited to show you guys some of the players that I picked up. Uh, one of the first ones is not a player that I picked up, but Harry Kane. I promised you guys I'd build a squad with this card to see how he is. I'm happy to say already I have a slight review on him. In this past weekend, uh, I had some injuries to deal with. And my final game where I needed Elite... I had like four injuries in my Serie A team, so I decided to just put together quickly a Prem team. I was running out of time. I didn't have time to go like buy all the, all the whatever, get everything sorted. So I just used the Prem team and this guy shone for me, man. Um, now I know you see seven games, three goals to assist. A lot of those are from uh, being a super sub, but he was good, man. He was good. And I like Marksman on Kane. It basically boosts his stats like crazy. The other reason I went Marksman on Kane is because I don't have a Hunter or a Hawk. I might go Hunter or Hawk on Kane or maybe even Catalyst on Kane uh, if, I, if I continue to enjoy him. So Kane is going to be my left striker. Now, right striker. So one of the players I saw, and I didn't get a great deal on this card, but I just saw like he was in packs. I don't think he's in packs anymore, but he was in packs when I bought him on the Saturday and it wasn't, where is he? Um... I know this is going to be weird to people too because I have his other card as well. But I, I had to pick him up. I had to pick him up. Like, I, I like this card. I find this card super effective. In Fatal, uh, Man of the Match Son is balling out and I have the worst version of Son because I'm not allowed to upgrade to this one. So I wanted to try this card out. 91 pace, 91 shooting, 89 dribbling, and 84 passing. I thought as a dual, like, striker setup, that just looks super exciting. Now, I'll have to convert him to a, a striker, which shouldn't be shouldn't be too big of a deal. I should have a couple of these. Right? Okay. So, and then let me show you guys what I what I paid for him. I, I, I would love to see what his price is even right now. So, what did I pay for him? 371000 Like, for that card, I know he's 87 rated. I'm sure there's a lot of risks of him getting yet another better version of himself and stuff like that. But 371k, I thought, was still a pretty damn cheap-ish price. Let's see what he's going for right now. 390k on bid, but 403 so he's 403, 400. Ooh, he's not. Okay, so 390. So there you go. We haven't really made any money, but, you know, after I sell him, I would break even right now. So that's not terrible. That's not terrible. Though. Yeah, I could swap them as well because uh, Son has the five star weak foot, right? Yeah. So. So far, those are the players I purchased. Now, uh, the next player I purchased, again, I don't have this team completed. I do not have this team comp uh, completed. I repeat, it's not finished. But I bought a couple more dudes. So the next player I bought, and I think this is one a lot of you guys are going to be happy with. And this is the one that I saw on Sunday for relatively cheap. And I'm like, dude, I, I got to buy this card. I got to buy this card. I bought the best version of Alexis Sanchez. And why not? 91 rated player um i don't know if sanchez is injured or like what's going on with arsenal but i can't see him getting himself an inform um very very soon and for 900 like just above 900 000 coins eh, why not i thought to risk i thought to put the risk on that and i don't know how this is gonna play out dudes i don't know how this is gonna play out so high high work rates high high work rates here I'm not I'm not entirely sure if that's gonna if that's gonna be great, but we'll see, right? This is gonna be an experience. Like I wanted to use some new players. If having too many players on high high work rates isn't awesome, then you know what? I'd be fine to move even Alexis Sanchez into the midfield. You know? He's not that good. Well, I get I get to I get to figure that out for myself, I suppose. Um So, yeah. I'm I'm not too upset with that. Now, continuing on from there, there's one more player I picked up, and this is a dude that is in packs right now, and he wasn't all that expensive, so I thought to buy him. I I decided against buying um, a fresh one. I saw uh, where what the hell am I doing? I saw a what do you call it? A uh, fresh version of this card for a little bit more, but I was like, dude, I'm gonna use them anyways, and then I'm gonna sell them a week later. So what's the point in spending another 10k to get a fresh card? So. I think you guys are going to be pretty damn happy with this. I think you guys are going to be pretty damn excited about this setup. I'm not sure if you are, but I, I think um, I think you're going to be pretty stoked on it. So six foot two, I'm thinking as like our CDM uh, player. It, it, like Kante will be a super sub. We'll test him out, and then and then we'll go from there. What do you guys think? I was actually thinking maybe going Bundesliga in the back line. 
And I'm gonna need, well, I'm gonna need to, oh, that's gonna be tough, unless I go full German all around Emre Chan. So these are, these are the players I purchased. I purchased one more player, but I actually bought him as an investment. And this is the next player. I don't even think he's gonna get into the team, but again, he, he was in packs and so cheap that I thought to pick him up. I actually bought a couple. Uh, one I got on bid. This one I got on... No, this one I didn't get on bid. Wait, which one? I can't remember which one I got on bid. But let, let's just show you guys. Here we go. Um, so I picked this card up. Now we could go boring and go full Premier League team. I'm not against that. I, I'm not I'm not against that at all. If you guys want me to go for a full Premier League team, I'm down. But I, I picked this guy up, dude. Like, are you kidding me? One for 68... And then another one I got on, this one I got on bid, and the other one I bought, they, he was going for like 70 to 75k, dude. Like, listed for sale. So, I picked up another one as well to put in the trade pile. I don't know if he's, like I said, I don't know if he's going for less or more. I could have screwed myself. Maybe that card is now 60k. In fact, let's have a look. Let's see what his price is right now. Let me see what this one I bought for. 70,050, dude. Um, so let's see. Oh, shit. Oh, maybe that's why. Hold on, chat. 88, 88, 86. Okay, so we've made like 9k on him. That's not great at all. But thank God, okay, he's not like 60k. Let's see what this sells for. Let's see what this sells for and it'll give us a good indication of what he's going for right now. 86k is the buy it now, right? But, I mean, had I not shown that other card going on bid on stream in front of 4,000 plus people that card probably would have went for the same price that I um that I picked up my cards for Nevertheless, I'm gonna hold on to that Schmeichel for a little bit I feel like that's still a decent investment now, after taxes. What am I talking about? Like that's like 13 or 14 K, right? Good math Nick So I don't know if I'm gonna use them. I kind of want to um I kind of want to but I kind of wanted to build like a hybrid for this weekend. I Just don't know how I'm gonna put a hybrid together uh hmm I wonder I mean I could get this link together with a with a, a Vidal I could do that I could do that a lot of people are telling me to use Harry Kane as a cam don't you guys think he's a bit clunky so a lot of people are saying to do this A lot of people are saying to do this instead. Hmm. But see, that's, I've already used these players. You know what I mean? I've already used these players, man. How about... Okay, let's look what... Let's see what we got in the Bundesliga. Let's see what we got in the Bundesliga before I make the decision of, like, building a Bundesliga team around Emre Chan. Let's see. Uh, you know what? I've got I've got some pretty cool stuff. Uh, some pretty cool stuff, don't I? Like, dude. We could go soccer to... I haven't used this card yet. Hmm. Oh! You know who we haven't used this year? Effenberg! I could get Effenberg, man. Like, that, I, I mean, I gotta do that. I gotta try that out for this weekend and see how it plays. I love the regular peace check. We'll get a Shadow Chem style. Actually, I've got a Shadow Chem style waiting for him. Where is it? Hold on. I've got two. There we go. Three now Shadow Chem styles. Let's go. So there we go. That's pretty sick, man. That's pretty sick. Do we get maybe Effenberg over here? That could be pretty fun. That could be pretty fun. Effenberg over here. And then I could get Boateng. Effenberg is unreal. I Dude, Effenberg, as most people that watch my streams specifically know, FIFA 16, Effenberg was one of my favorite cards in the entire game. Yeah, I'm going to need a strong link to Emre Chan. Let's see how much Effenberg is. Um, Effenberg. This is going to break my heart, though. With how expensive this card's gonna be. Wait, what? What did I just do? Oh god, whatever. Let's see. How much are you, Effenberg? Oh god. 534, 509, 510. Did we just do it? 
Anchor? As Let's do it. 509, man. Let's do it. I don't even know what the hell this price is, but that's the cheapest one I saw. Let's do it. Okay, and then I gotta get Emre Chan back into setup. Oh, hello? There we go. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Now, would Effenberg be better in the middle, or would he be better out wide? Hmm. That's another question, because I'm looking at that 74 pace and wondering if that's uh, if that's going to be an issue. Hmm. Oh, what? You know what? Emery Chan, six foot two with those defensive stats. I mean, you look at these two stats, right? Sure, Effenberg has worse pace, worse defending, slightly worse physical. I think I think Emery Chan through the middle is going to be fine. Medium, medium work rates is probably going to mean that Emery Chan pushes up the field like an idiot, but I, I, that's all right. I'm not I'm not going to be I'm not going to be too upset with that. I'm not going to be too upset with that. Now the question is, do we finally get Neuer? Do I finally try out Neuer? I can't believe that I'm not even going to use Schmeichel. So this Schmeichel card is just going to stay as an investment. Let's. How much is he going for right now? What did we say he was going for? What did he say he was going for right now? There's another one. Let's see how much that one sells for. Um, Because this guy's not in packs anymore, right? 88, 86, 85. Okay, so I haven't done that great yet, but... Hmm... I could go with a Goretzka here as well. I could go with the Goretzka here. Yeah, that could be fun. You know what? But with Goretzka, I missed the buying. For Gore I bet you this guy, I could have got him on Saturday as well for so much cheaper. I didn't even think about this Goretzka card. God damn, that's a really good card, dude. Okay. 38. 20, 38. 27. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go check out this Goretzka card. Let's go check out this Goretzka card. Is he still in packs? I don't think he's still in packs. Is he? Special. Um. 40. Let's see how much he's. Fuck. Is that fresh? Did I just get him fresh? Medium, medium, four star skills, 83. So again, it's, uh, I don't know. I, hmm. He's fresh though for 40K. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. You know what? He'll be kind of a handy link as well to Embolo uh, if I want to get that type of a setup going in the future. For 40,000 coins, it's not really a big deal. I'm not going to go Stindle. I'm not going to go Stindle. Stindle would be a pretty sick uh, brought down because Stindle's a striker, right? So I'd have to convert him all the way down. Um. All right, hold on. Let me ban someone here. Boom. See you later. Uh, where is he? Nah. 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 I'd rather go I'd rather go Goretzka, man. I'd rather go Goretzka. I'd get an engine on him and he'll be a sick box to box mid. Sick box to box mid. We'll we'll have some super subs in there as well. Like I'll get Conte and Pogba in there to be super subs. They'll, they'll do just fine. Cristiano Ronaldo will obviously be a super sub as well, probably for Harry Kane. Uh, let's put Schmeichel over here because I don't think he's even going to get into the first team. Okay. So then do we go full Bundesliga here as well? Do we go full Bundesliga as well? 
Let's see. I haven't used Bundesliga in such a long time. Now, we've got Hector. I've been disappointed by him, though, uh, a few times over. But Hector gives Goretzka the, the strong link that he needs. Now, I could go Boateng, but also, I don't know what this guy's price is looking like. Let's see. I really want to try this card out. I really, really, really want to try this card out. But his price just keeps going up and up and up and up. So, I don't know if it's going to be... Oh, he's cheaper now. Oh my god, dude. He was like, whoa! Should I buy this? Should I buy this for 680k? Should I buy this for 680k? Should I buy this for 680k? 690, 680. I'm going to miss the boat. I'm going to miss the boat here. Um, I'm going to miss the boat here by waiting. It's not that he's super cheap either. Um, let's see. What's been his average price for the last like couple of weeks? I just don't want to jump the gun without without knowing exactly where his price has been at. Uh, so it's kind of been his price for the last... Uh, that's a bit expensive, actually, dudes. Ooh, that's a bit expensive. He's been averaging like 650 He's been averaging about 650k for the last little bit. You know what? I'm gonna wait on Dizai. I'm gonna. I'm glad I looked. I'm glad I checked. I'm gonna wait on Dizai. It's gone anyways. Okay. I'm gonna wait on Dizai. I might pick him up, but I, I'm gonna wait on him. I'm gonna wait on him. I might pick up a Dizai, but I might try and um, try and get like a bid in or something like that. It's because I'm streaming in front of now almost 5,000 people. So anyone that sees any player I'm bidding on, like you. If this was, basically, if this was Saturday, like, when I bid and buy my players and I'm not streaming, I would probably get this card for 650 like that. No one would bid on that card, I would get it. But because I'm in front of, like, you know, almost 5,000 people, you've got so many people like, oh, I'll buy that, I'm gonna buy that. I want it. I'm gonna buy it, and then that way, maybe I'll relist it for even more, and Nick will have to pay more. You know? So, I, I yeah, I'm, I, I'll wait. If I'm patient, I guarantee you I'll get you, I'll, I'll get Desai for, for 650 or something like that. Now, another player that... I was considering trying on 7 chem. 607, 600. Is this guy on 7 chem? Oh my god, that's fresh. Oh my lord, have mercy. This is good. Again, this will be this will be gone in an instant. A fresh Maldini. Hold on. How much has Maldini been going for lately? I'm going to regret not buying this. That has literally been his price for two months. You know what? I'm buying it. I'm buying it. That is Mal That has been Maldini's price for two months. So I'm not going to lose money there. And if I love this Maldini, if I love this Maldini, I can, uh, I can, I can keep him. Why not? Why not? Maldini on seven chem. I like that. Let's try it. You know what? And if we don't love them, who cares? I'll list them and I'll lose like 20 or 30,000 coins on taxes. Okay. That's pretty exciting. And he's got a four-star weak foot, so he'll be perfect as a left uh, center back. Play him and then Boateng. No, I kind of want to do this, man. So yeah, I need a I need a strong link to Goretzka. If I if, if I don't like um, uh, Hector, Baba, or what's his face? I think I have Baba. Where is he? I think I have this Bubba untradeable on this account. Yeah, right here. And he's got a Sentinel as well. So I could use this Bubba if I really needed to. You know, if I need that extra bit of pace, he'll fit in the team, no problem. And I need a link to Socrates as well, though. If I don't get a link to Socrates, then... Um, yeah, I mean, I could go Brem. Can I afford Brem, though? Uh, this team is so bloody expensive. No, I can't afford Brem. I have 300k to work with, dudes. Have I used... Have I used Manu Neuer this year? I don't think I have. Every time I go to buy him, he's just so much money, and I decide not to. Let's see. Let You know what? Let's see how much Neuer is. Dude, I'm buying him. I'm gonna buy Neuer, man. I'm gonna buy Neuer. I don't think I've used Neuer this year at all. So it'll be a first time for anything and everything, dudes. I'm not going to go Berkey. I'm not going to go Farmin and Leno and any of that stuff. I, I'm, I'm gonna, I want to try Neuer. I haven't used him this year. Uh, 
F off. 120 with a glove chem style. Let's do that. Let's do that. So this will be interesting, man. You know, I, would you guys say... Obviously, this is this is a, a question for my Twitch viewers, but hey, you can you can answer this in the YouTube comments if you want as well. Would you guys say that this is a ten times better team than what we used this past weekend, the four two three one Serie A team? What do we think, dude? On paper, of course, this team looks sexual, and I love that we're back to doing this on the road to glory, just building super awesome teams. I like it. And I could just as easily switch this over to uh, 4, 1, 2, and 2, but then I'd maybe have to get uh, a Vidal over here instead. This one's worse? You guys think this one's worse? The Serie A team with like, okay, so the whatever, third in form Dybala and the third or fourth in form Mertens. You guys thought that was better. Um, This is, this is way worse? Okay, all right, chat, whatever you guys say, I guess. So are we good? Are we good? Okay, so everyone's on 9 or 10 chem. That's fine. I have to move some players' positions and stuff. And then I need a Italian... Let's do Italian Premier Premier League. And then we'll be fine. We can get Conte in here. Right? Oh, Conte is now Spain. All right. Oh, Ranieri. Uh, bad luck charm, though, dude. I mean, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty unfortunate that the second Ranieri gets sacked, Leicester starts going on a tear. So let's go with this guy then. Okay, so I gotta get 10 games with Maldini and then he'll be on 7 chem. And let's get Sanchez down to a... There we go. Center attacking mid. Perfect. I hope I like Sanchez as a center attacking mid. And we'll do... I don't think I have a CDM to center mid card. Oh, I've got two! Live in the dream! And he's got an anchor card already. I feel like it'd be even better with a shadow. Uh, Goretzka, let's see. I, I'm thinking of just going to buy an engine card on him. I think. Although, Artis is not bad. Improve his dribbling and his passing. You know what? Let's do Artis for Goretzka for now. If I need to get an engine on him, I will. I'm Ray Chan with an anchor. Anchor on Effenberg, that's fine. Hector on a shadow. This is a fresh Maldini, so... Uh, I get... Like, am I wasting... Am I wasting, uh, the defending stats? If I go Shadow, he's got 86 pace already. I guess it would probably be better if I went Anchor for Maldini, right? Because you boost up his physical as well. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. And then Shadow. Shadow for sure on Socrates. Let's get that Shadow on Socrates. I'm fine to spend that money on him. That's fine. Left side is a bit dodgy. Yeah. But you know what? It's a pretty quick fix too, right? Left side, I could go Vidal and Alba, and then we're kind of, uh, we're, we're pretty balling again. So that'll, that's what we'll spend this week doing, is seeing where the weak spots in this team are. I feel, I would agree with a lot of people saying, um, hi. Oh, uh, yeah, I ate the chicken. I like, um, I ate too much chicken, though. I gave you, um, what? that wasn't even your lunch. That wasn't my lunch? I packed you a healthy one with chicken. I was so sad, because I saw that, I'm like, where's all, all the, the salad veggies. and the chicken? And I was like, I'll have that for dinner. I'll have it for dinner. I home, I was like, to get his lunch. I was like, oh, the rice is gone. <laughs> no, I only had a bit you of ate, rice. You ate the carb lunch with the No, chicken. I didn't. I ate some rice. Rice is good for you, man. And then, I'm getting in trouble I, for eating so food I, that's I, in I my own like, house. Well, I guess I have to eat Nick's grown veggie lunch. Wait, you ate it all? Not all of it, but. Oh. <laughs> you know what? Maybe put the rest of this in the fridge then that's so it doesn't go it bad. Up. Huh? I haven't even heated it. It's been oh, out for like half an hour. Not even. Uh, it's not even heated. It's still okay. cold. Um, what was I Anyways, say? I'm just recording a video, but oh. hey, how's it going? I also, if you want my mom to drop up this, like, really beautiful salad. Can I have it for dinner? Salad? Yeah. I'll have and that for dinner. Okay, Manushi. Uh, All right. So many, there's uh, a lot of food upstairs, and, like, some remainder of the grilled veggies. Okay. Are you and ready? Are you, are, are you ready? Food? Actually, by the time this video is out, you guys will have already seen the fatal upload. But, oh yeah, it, we haven't recorded it yet, right? Yeah. Because as, as this is a Monday, you guys are going to see this entire episode on the Saturday. But on Thursday, the next upload of Fatal, Steph has to play one half of football. Are you ready for that? Okay, get out. If you're not if you're not going to talk, Sorry. get out. You're fired. You're fired. See you later. Never mind. Steph is sitting there texting her friends while, while she's supposed to be in a video recording of uh, The Poor Man Road to Glory. Anyways, she clearly is very concerned, chat. I ask her if she's ready for the recording, and she doesn't care. Doesn't care at all. <laughs> she doesn't give a flying F. Anyway, so if this team ends up feeling a little bit weak, it's not a big deal. 
Arturo Vidal here, and uh, Alba here, and we're sorted. You know? I really, I, like, I can't imagine any any other part of this team would be weak. Maybe Emery Chan won't be a great CDM. You know, maybe he'll feel clunky. And again, I'm spoiled using, um, you know, players like Raja Nyamdalen and Kante as my CDMs and stuff. So maybe Emre Chan won't be great. But I think the other issue maybe with this team is it is a bit too defensive, the midfield. You know? So a Vidal here might be a good play. Yeah, it might be a good play. I don't know. The only other thing that I want to have a look at here is player instructions too. Figure out what we want to do. I'm thinking we go balanced target man, uh, press the back line, and then we go get in B. No, wait. Uh, maybe drift wide for yeah. Let's let's test that out. Let's see how Song does when he pushes out wide like that, getting himself some open space, and then we'll go get in behind and press the back line. And then stay forward, get into the box where crosses, free roam, and normal interceptions. Now, Emre, we want to stay back while attacking. Is there anything else I want to do? No. Um, no, that's about it, right? Stick to position. And then... Hmm, what do we want from... What do we want from my wing... Like, my wide mids? Balanced... Balanced and free roam, or do I want them to stay in position? Oh, God. I don't know. I think I'm going to get the... I think I'm just going to... Like, my wide mids, I keep them the same. Right? Yeah, well, we, I don't need to worry about them staying back, and we'll do this. Stay back for my wing backs. So let's go with that. With that overall setup, and then I'll, we'll play a bunch of Div 1 games and stuff and see where the holes are, and then we'll adjust the player instructions. And if I make some big adjustments, obviously I'll show you guys again the, uh, you know, in a recording what changes I've made. But on stream for the next week, I'll test this team out and see where the, where the issues end up. <laughs> Nep loves this. Nep loves this statement. He's, he loves when people, okay, I want to say something real quick, okay, for any of my Twitch viewers, YouTube viewers, Nep's favorite thing is when you tweet at him a bronze pack that has a good card in it and saying, but the bronze pack method doesn't work. Anytime you get anything good, at Nepenthes on Twitter, write that message and then screen cap of what you got. It's his favorite thing. Because clearly, the bronze pack method doesn't work, dudes. It doesn't at all. It's awful. Now, pre- the, um, I guess, what do you call it? St. Paddy's Day SBCs. Before they were released, this card was like 30, 40K. This card is now probably like two or 3,000 coins. Rip, rip. Yeah, like five, 6,000 coins. So I'm going to keep him. I will use him at a different day. Nepenthes says, I'm legit about to block hundreds of people thanks to Nick2018. <laughs> Yo, unlucky Nepenthes. Um... But the bronze pack method does not work, dude. <laughs> All right. Anyways, so you know what? I don't really care. I mean, it's 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 not like I'm gonna do much with this, but we'll store it. We'll use it at some point in time. Feels good. <laughs> so we got a few things to be excited about here. First of all, I changed the team a little bit. Man of the match, Goretzka wasn't that great. So I decided to switch things around. I mentioned a few times in my Div 1 game so far that Emre Chan is kind of lost as a center center mid, like using him as a CDM. Really, really good card. I really enjoyed him already. We've used him for what? Five games now. Like he's been good, but I kind of want to try him more as like a box-to-box -box type of mid. So I swapped the team around a little bit, put Conti in, and then just moved Emre Chan to the left. I'm not, still not impressed with Hector. Not the biggest fan. Um of Hector, but uh, you know what? We'll try him out a little bit. And Harry Kane got ditched hard as well. I'm going with Sanchez now up front because he was incredible as a cam, so I'm expecting him to be incredible as a striker. Son at right striker and uh, Pogba at center cam. Now the other thing as well is it should be Futt's birthday today, okay? It's the eight years of Futt. Like we should be getting something as of right now. I'm expecting crazy SBCs. So now all of the Irish stuff is gone. It's the Tuesday now, if you're wondering what part of the recording this is or what part of the week that I am recording on right now. It's Tuesday at 6 p.m. UK time. Nothing! It's Futt's birthday and EA doesn't care. 
this is where they usually in the past few years uh for Futt's fourth birthday whatever you know for his four year birthday they did four days of Futt stuff for their fifth birthday they did five days of cool Futt stuff for their sixth birthday they did six days of cool Futt stuff for their seventh birthday which was FIFA 16 they did seven days of cool Futt stuff cool position changed packs remember that Ronaldo got a regular card at striker Bale got a regular card at striker it was so fun man it was so fun do we get do we actually get nothing and technically, technically, Futt's eighth birthday was actually a few days ago. But we all thought that, okay, the 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 like the Irish SBCs and stuff are ending now on the Tuesday at 6 p.m. So obviously Tuesday at 6 p.m. UK will get Futt packs and stuff and like what? So we got nothing. This is what they gave us. 25,000 coin packs for 500. What is this? The most rare gold pack. 25,000 coins for 500 FIFA points instead of 350 and 15 of them. Do they just not care? Speed up lag birthday. Do they not even realize? Like, are, do, are the people that used to do all this cool stuff on FUT just not working there anymore? Or maybe it'll be tomorrow for like the new team of the week. Maybe they'll launch it for the new team of the week or something like that, but I'm genuinely disappointed. We get nothing. And not that I want just free packs, but I was expecting like really cool um, uh, like SBCs. You know one thing and one theory I have, and I just hope, I just hope it's true. Now, Ronaldinho is officially retired, right? He's like the ambassador for Barcelona. Uh, Ronald... Dean... Wait, where is his... His pick is in the database. I don't think it's actually in the game. But his pick and stuff and details and stuff are still in the FUT database. And part of me was thinking, honestly, man, maybe we'll get like an SBC with Ronaldinho or something crazy like that. Because today is Ronaldinho's birthday as well, I believe. So there's a lot of like stuff going on. Maybe it'll be at 8 p.m. UK in like two hours or something like that for eight years. I don't know. But I was thinking like maybe we'll get something super cool around Ronaldinho. I don't know why, but like there's there's a lot of people linking that together. A lot of um uh a lot of different streamers and YouTubers thinking that as well. So that might happen still. Just to give you guys a bit of an overview of this team, uh well, it's it's performed well. Uh my Twitch viewers would tell you that I didn't deserve to even get a draw in this game, but that's just because they're a bunch of plebeian trolls. Uh this was the guy's team. His name was hashtag Potter, so maybe hashtag Harry is his like favorite. Um uh, YouTuber or whatever. Wow. So this guy went 2-1 up against me and then went to a more defensive formation. I got to respect that. Uh, anyways, so this was the setup. Let me show you guys quickly the uh, the, the goals. So we won Division 1. The team performed well enough to win me Division 1 again. But my viewers trying to tell me that I, um, I deserve to lose that game. This is the first goal I scored. Pretty lucky to get that. I'm not going to lie. Put the chance away though. So happy with that. Uh, my Neuer made a save early. I don't remember what this was. What was this chance? Okay, that's a pretty bog standard save. His cash for Smichael made a save. I think this was a good opportunity. Really, really good shot, but still from far away. So, wow, that's a, actually a really good save. He had the uh, man of the match Schmeichel or whatever, the 87 rated card. Um, then my Neuer made a 45th minute save right here. It's a very awful shot though. You know what? I didn't see that pass he had to Son there. He could have swept that into Son probably. Then my Hyungmin Son. Are they gonna show the breakaway with Alexis Sanchez that I had? That's a that's I mean, I feel like that's the type of goal that I would normally score. Anyway, so there's another missed opportunity. No, I don't think they're actually gonna show it. I don't think they're actually gonna show it here. That's a good save. That's a very, very good save. He then scores this, okay? He then scores this. Just aimlessly shooting it at the net. It deflects. I mean, fair play to my opponent for apologizing there or whatever. Um, but but apparently I deserve to lose when, when I can see the goal like this. Where he just blindly hits it with Renato Sanchez. Off balance and everything. Fires it. Going out of bounds. Deflects off of Son's face and goes in the net. But I deserve to lose. All right, Twitch chat. Anyways, he then scored this goal. I think this was a good goal. Uh off of my mistake and i i purposely right here and i think people at least that watch my stream that don't hate my guts at least can give me some credit here i said this was my fault i said as i gave up possession here i'm like what am i doing passing up the middle so i do that risky pass and then i panic and try to pass it up the gut 
to Conte, it gets intercepted. And I said right here, if I give up a goal here, it's my fault. And literally, he turns and hits this. Like, look at that, dude. And that was my fault. I said, good goal by him. It's my own damn fault. If I lose this and lose uh, Division 1, it's my fault there. And I'm not moaning or doing anything. I'm literally just commenting on the game. That was literally my fault completely. Can we ban that moron? Thank you. Um, and then I just proceeded to miss more and more chances. I can't believe that the game isn't showing the highlights. That's a sh just a... They're showing that as a highlight when I had Alexis Sanchez in on net on his right side, fired it near post, low driven, you know, nine times out of ten I'm scoring that and he put it wide to give me a 2-0 lead earlier on in the game and they didn't show that. But then we got a cheesy penalty in the 90th and, you know, I put that away. Which is really, really, really hilarious to me as well. Uh, you get dicked on endlessly, and then it's like the game's like, okay, this game's gone really crazy. Let's just give you a chance in the in the 90th minute, and it's up to you to score it. And we scored it. So that feels good. Um, we won the title again. I, I think this is maybe our ninth, ninth, eight or ninth Division One title. Uh, very, very happy about that as well. We've been qualified, although we've already been qualified. So we've got a... Uh, 15,000 coin war chest. And I'll show you guys the team because I have changed it. And I think I did mention the team uh, a few times as well. But this is the kind of current setup and I'm very happy with it. So a few people thought it'd be better to have Sanchez on the right and Son on the left. Didn't really notice a difference. I love the team. The only problem with the team is I, team is I actually find Maldini a little weak. Like as a weak link. He's not that great. Neuer's an incredible goalkeeper. Maybe my favorite goalkeeper to use so far. And I find the Red Hector as we found him many, 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 many times over because we've used him in so many different runs in Foot Champs. I find Hector to be a liability. He's too slow. He's clunky. He gets up the field and helps really well in supporting me offensively. But he's very, very weak defensively. And he also just can't get back. Especially when dealing with super pacey wingers like the one to watch Mane, who my opponent had. Or he had the Inform 87 rated version of Mane. And he was melting my Hector. So, I'm not sure about Maldini. And I'm not I'm not convinced about Hector. So, I think I'm going to go with uh, either the Inform Alonso, the red Alonso I have. Or the one to watch uh, Patrick Van Anholt there. Those are the two changes I think I'm going to make before we go into this Butt Champs run. And there again is my Div record. My Div 1 record. 20 seasons. Um, 15 titles won. So, super, super happy with that. And 120 wins and 17 losses in 20 div, uh, division seasons. I'm proud of that. <laughs> Let's go, baby! Oh my god, elite rewards are here. Sick! Uh, team of the week is obviously here. Uh, let's get let's get over here. You know, we, we got some things to do before we uh, worry about actually opening the elite rewards. Actually, we have absolutely nothing to do. I just had to relist that. And then we're ready to do the elite rewards. I just wanted to make people squirm a little bit. I do these, you know, these openings and stuff like that live on my stream. And my Twitch chat is just blowing up with people losing their mind right now. So I think what we'll do actually, before we open these uh, elite rewards, we'll do a countdown maybe from like 2000. That way it'll give us time to get acclimatized, you know, and get ready for it. We can have a quick look if you guys want at the new team of the week. Because this new Team of the Week looks absolutely fantastic. I think right away, I'm fully confident. Fully, fully confident that my best player is going to be... Realistically, Kolasinac. But, I mean, I would love for it to be Lukaku. Lukaku would go right into my team. Honestly, De Bruyne, right into my team. Elite rewards. Yeah, no. Nah. And if it's a walkout just to get trolled, it'll probably be like Godin, who's maybe like 70,000 coins or something horrible like that. So how many walkouts have we got? We got Lorenzo Insigne, Godin, uh, Messi, Romelu Lukaku, and De Bruyne. Okay, so five walkouts. Not bad. Not bad. That's really good. I, you know, I wouldn't mind getting a Heaton. Not going to complain if I get a Gomez. Mm, I No, I definitely would. Uh, not going to complain if I get a Godin. Not going to complain if I get a Casemiro. Not going to complain if I get a Quadrado. Not going to complain if I get a Leo Messi. Not going to complain for a Lukaku. I would complain about a Modest. But you know what? I wouldn't mind testing out a Javier Pastore. That looks like a decent card. So I wouldn't mind getting him either. And then I guess we have a 100k pack to open from these Elite Rewards as well. How are these still in packs, by the way? Hasn't it been like two weeks? 
Oh, there's new marquee matchups as well, but those will do for next episode before we go into our fun champ games and stuff like that. All right, enough dilly dallying. Let's go, baby. I'm excited. I'm ready. Oh, come on. Come on. Where is it? Oh, the beautiful elite badge. Let's go. This will probably be the, the last time in a long time I see the elite badge. Let's be real. These are going to be very, very rare. God, I know I'm waiting and taking my time to open this premium team of the week pack, and it's going to be the worst pack ever won't be a walkout and i'm thinking heaton will be the best pull that's that's kind of what i'm guessing right now i'll take the seventy thousand coins though don't mind at all i've made some profit already on the players i purchased too so i'm happy there there it is come on baby come on baby come on baby come on baby oh my lord all right there it is the promised land now i wonder am i gonna get more coins out of the 100k pack or out of the premium team of the week pack I don't know. And another thing, it's like, considering gold one, you get two 100k packs. For getting elite, which is substantially harder, you get one 100k pack and a three inform pack. Why don't they, why don't they still give you the two 100ks and the elite pack? I, I always found that super, super weird. Anyways, what do I know? Come on, come on. All right, let's do the 100k pack. It's opened. No walkout because my pack luck sucks. Ah! Oh, wow! He's supposed to be Canadian, the sellout! Wow, not even a big flare. My god. Okay, I think that's an upgraded Williams. Dude, how... <laughs> okay. Well, I think no matter what, the inform pack is going to be better. Dude, come on, man. EA, you can't, you can't do me dirty like this pack. EA, you can't, you can't do me dirty like, you can't do me dirty like this pack. Ew, man. RVP, please. Goodness gracious, that is an atrocious pack. Let's be real. Begovich might sell for a little bit for the time. Well, no, actually. These guys I'll toss onto the trade pile because I assume they won't sell for anything anyhow. We'll use them in the gold upgrade. And then Begovich, let's have a quick look and see how much he is. Eh. Wow. Not that great. We'll do 1400 There we go. All right. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Please, EA. Please. Please, please, please. Please, can I have something nice? Please, can I have something nice? I'm not... It's not going to be a walkout. I know it's not going to be a walkout, but please just give me something nice. Something nice. Even a Gomez. Even a Gomez. We'll be good. He stored RVP, Nick. Yeah, I mean, why not, right? We'll use him in SBCs. As much as I hate RVP, we'll still use him in SBCs. <sighs> All right, here we go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Three, two. Okay, hold on. Let's let's just let's just take a breath here. Let's take a breath here. Just okay. Everybody, calm down. Okay, okay. Here we go. Okay, from down to down from four. From four. Okay, four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm not ready. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not ready. It's going to be Leo Messi. It's going to be Leo Messi. It's going to be Leo Messi. <laughs> Hurry up, you mug. Shut up! Oh, it's not even a walkout. Yes! Let's go! Told you it was worth waiting. Hercules, 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 Hercules. Quadrado. <laughs> Oh, okay. Who else? Who else? Oh. Okay. Yo, I'll take that. That's not bad at all. Yo, I legit, I legit think that's good. Berkey doesn't matter. Kalasinac, I'm going to keep because I would like to use him in another squad builder at a later date. Uh, unfortunately, I could have put him into my team had I had that same Bundesliga-based setup, which I don't have anymore. Um... Anyway, so we'll keep him. I don't think Berkey... Like, I don't think Berkey sells at all. <laughs> Dude, Quadrado's sick, isn't he? He's got to be like 100k. Good God. Berkey is 15k for an 84 rated card. Okay, so I'm going to keep him for sure. Kolasin... Kol Kolasinak. Kolasinak. I don't know how to... Any of my Bosnian viewers are probably like, Yo, dude, just don't even try... Wow, okay, so he's under 20,000 coins as well. He looks like such a sick card. He genuinely looks like such a sick card. Now, I'm not I'm not upset with it. Anyways, let's see Quadrado. How much is he? Do we sell him or do we use him? Holy! Suck me off! What? 
200k for Quadrado! Oh! Well, that was worth the 29 wins for sure. And considering how, like, relaxed we took the last FUD Champs run where I didn't care, we took our time, I barely got mad, I wasn't even concerned with finishing the games, and to get, you know, 70,000 coins, like, just under, technically, about 300,000 coins as rewards is pretty insane for how much fun we had over the weekend playing these games in FUD Champs. That's dope. No, I don't even want to sell them. I don't need to sell them. I, I don't need to sell them. I actually think I'm going to keep him for now, and then maybe we use him for next week's squad builder. So obviously, you know, this fight champ's coming up. We have a squad build. I might change it a little bit because it's a little weak defensively, but I want to keep this. I'm going to build a team around him next week. Oh, dude, my phone. Okay, I'm recording! Good lord, Nepenthes! And Spin Bros! And Rossi! Come on, man! Yo, that's legit. I'm down with that. Very, very down with that. We'll probably build like a... I think we'll finally put together a 4-3-3-2 formation. That formation ruins my soul. So I think that's... I think that's... I think that's what we're going to go with. All right. Well, th that's the end of it. Thank you for watching the video. I think this is going to be a relatively shorter episode of the Poor Man Road to Glory than normal. I'm sure now, because this isn't an hour and a half long video, people will be mad that it was short. If you're mad, well, you get to look forward to Monday's Poor Man Road to Glory video. That one will be long. I can guarantee it. I love you guys, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace!